And in 2014, I was invited by uh, the Victoria and Albert Museum in London to uh, create a piece for their permanent collection. And uh, so I went to London and I saw the space where they were going to hang the work permanently. And uh, then I had to, I went through all of their like uh, uh, Himalayan collection at the museum and uh, wanted to respond through this experience and create something new. But uh, I was actually a little bit uh, surprised because uh, at the VNA, like uh, the Himalayan gallery is actually very, very, it's like a corridor, you know, it's not even a room, like this really nice uh, Indian gallery, this really nice Chinese gallery, Japanese gallery, Korean gallery, and Himalayan gallery is just a small corridor. And uh, many times I would just miss it, like uh, while walking in that museum. So uh, I felt like I need to make something very uh, loud, very, vibrant so that people who are walking through that gallery will have to stop and pay attention. So uh, I, I created this particular uh, spirit character with the swirling deity. Uh, I titled it uh, Victory to the Spirit. Uh, for Himalayan artists uh, to be uh, included or invited to big institutions like uh, Victoria and Albert Museum is very, very rare because uh, there's huge like a pool of artists and somehow like because we can't happen to come from a very small region, we get somehow, we dis disappear within that thing. And uh, uh, I wanted to make a statement by saying that uh, uh, I think uh, we as Himalayan artists may have also arrived by now uh, in our tradition, like when we uh, climb a summit of a mountain or a hill, then we uh, shout out victory to the spirit. Kiki so so hot yellow. So the idea was like to, uh, how do you say, um, make a statement saying that, you know, 